hello dear friends welcome to my channel today's discussions is amplifier okay so so an amplifier may be represented by the simple block diagram the input signal signal voltage is denoted by es okay and input sig signal current current by is across the output terminal is load resistors rl resistance rl may represent for example the resistance tens of a loudspeaker coil a motor winding and or the input connected amplifier stage voltage e0 is the output load voltage and current i0 the output current okay an amplifier increases the magnitude of amplifies or electric signal the signal may be derived for, for example from a tv antenna a photo a phono cartilage or strain gauge gauge okay so i have already written that is is input signal and input signal voltage is es okay so if amplifier is optimized to amplify voltage signals signals it is called voltage amplifier for example for current signals it is referred to as a current amplifier okay so i have discussed that rl is load resistance okay so hope it is clear for everyone that which is input signal es is input 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 signal voltage and is is input signal current another method of classification is based on amplitude of signals for small signals in the order typically of microvolts and millivolts the amplifier may be classified as small signal and for larger signals as a large large signal amplifier simple algebra is all that is required for calculating the performance of small signal amplifier and graphical okay so you have already i, I have already told that what is i0 i0 is output load current okay so graphical methods however are generally used in the analysis of large signal amplifiers so friends i hope that you can understand now i discuss large amplifier and large signal amplifier and small fixed signal amplifier so small signal amplifier so amplifier are also classified in terms of load current flow so my next topic i will discuss the cycle okay sine wave input signal to an amplifier so i hope you can understand this is the block diagram of an amplifier and i have already written all the term so now i discuss input signal and input signal if the load current also flows for 360 degree as indicate indicate my this diagram okay first is first is the classifications of amplifier is input signal second is load current flows flows 360 degree for a class a operation okay and second is load current flows 180 degree for class b operations 
and and third is in class a b operation operation load current flows is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree class c operation where load okay it is greater than 180 degree but less than less than 360 degree So class C operations where load current flows for less than 180 degrees. For 360 degree as indicated, indicated the amplifier is operating as class A. Class B operation and AB operation is realized and class C operation is obtained. Okay. Now I discuss characteristics of amplifier. The performance of amplifier is characterized by the following terms. Voltage gain, current gain, power gain, input resistance, output resistance, bandwidth, distortion, slew, slewing rate. Now I discuss voltage gain. Voltage gain is AV divided by E0 divided by ES, current gain I0 divided by IS, AI and AP is equal to AP is equal to P0 but divided by PI and AP is equal to AB into AI. Okay, product of voltage gain and current gain is equal to power gain. Okay, now you have you have to see input resistance, output resistance and bad width definitions. Okay. Now you see that Distortion. Distortion because the characteristics of the BGT and APT are not, not strictly linear. The output of an amplifier contains frequencies that are not present in the input signal. Assume for example 1K Hz. Okay. 1000K Hz sine wave is impressed across the input terminals of an amplifier. The output will contain in addition 1 kilohertz frequency okay now bgt is bipolar bipolar junction transistors and fet is field effect transistors okay so whatever i discuss i discuss the output will contain in addition to 1 kilohertz frequency referred to as the fundamentally mental frequency in bipolar jai junction transistors thousand near about in the above diagram okay frequency of the low low frequency is 20 hertz high frequency is 20 kilohertz so bandwidth is 20 kilohertz okay so i hope that my diagram is clear for you and now i discuss i discuss distortions okay Distortions are harmonic distortions and intermodulation distortion. Another is slewing rate. Okay, so distortion clip. Okay, assume harm, uh, the output will count. Okay, okay, one kilohertz, and you see that. Nominal gain over a large range of frequencies is expressed as 0 decibel. Okay. In my, in here, harmonic distortions is harmonic distortions is defined as the ratio of the amplitude of a harmonic component and intermodulation distortions and slewing rate. Slewing rate of an amplifier. Okay. Now, slewing rate is del E by del T. It's unit is unit is 
volts per microsecond and you see by diagram what is input and what is amplifier and what is output and slewing rate of an amplifier indicates how well it responds to a rapidly changing waveform to measure the response a rectangular pal pulse is applied to the in input of the amplifier now we discuss the basing biasing the common ammeter amplifier okay so friends this is the this is the the basic class a common ammeter amplifier biased from a single d source ecc okay is es is signal source e0 is output signal for voltage and ecc is rc plus ic plus vce so friends in here you get a q factor okay quotient operating op point that i will i am not discussing in my video i will discuss it in later what is the quotient operating point q now ic can be written ic equals to vce divided by rc plus ecc divided by rc and A typical common ammeter. Ammeter is C E C E junction transfer amplifier. Okay. Here C C C A C is co co coupling capacitor blocks any direct current from the base that may be signal source E E S. Output signal voltage E G E naught is taken across the collector. and ground a simple method of finding quotient operator operating graphical analysis by in is is by graphical analysis i will not discuss now basic basic topic a common ammeter common ammeter amplifier okay this is the diagram we see that super imposed line is referred to as load line okay that i we, we will get we will get quotient operating operating point q okay in quotient operating point q we get super imposed line line now you get a a a, a straight straight line equation ic is equal to vce divided by rc ecc ecc divided by rc okay if we consider it is y is equal to mx plus c so y is equal to ic And M is equal to minus one by R C, and B is equal to E C C divided by R C. Okay, so we can draw a straight line. Straight line. It is convenient convenient to superimpose on the collector characteristics of a transistor. The superimposed line is referred to as a load line. Okay. If IC is equal to zero, then VCE is equal to ECC. VCC VCE equals to ECC, and this is one point needed to plot the load line. The second point is obtained by setting VCE is equal to zero. So for this condition.